I've got another bucket lister and I'm not believing it. I've been wanting to dig a hole one. Now look what I got. I got a Jack Daniels. Brand new hole, brand new day. And the very first bottle I have sticking out is right here in my hand. And no, it's not a Birmingham, it's an Ohio. Birmingham has one of these. And uh, I was kind of hoping it was gonna be one of those that says purity. But this is just one of those Souders flavoring extracts from Dayton, Ohio. However, that's the nice one. And we'll take it. it does have a little bit of chipping issue on the bottom, but that's okay. So I've had a ton of comments from people asking us to make our videos longer. This week we tried to do just that. However, for you to get a longer video, this took more than one day. So if you see our outfits change or the ground look different, just know that this was several days to get the video footage that we got. Let me know in the comments below if you like this length video and also let me know what was your favorite find. Let's get right back to the dig. Check it out, right on the side wall, right down there. First marble of the day. Looks like it's just gonna be one of the milk glass colored white ones we will take it it's got some chipping going on like most stuff does in the top layers noah introduce yourself to everybody hey how you guys doing my name's noah <laughs> so noah's with us today he's dug all over the place and he wanted to see what it was like digging with us so we think we got a soda down there but there's a lot of roots in the way i'm hoping to get him on a hutch today because where he digs at there's not a whole lot of hutches but a lot of straight side pepsis and stuff so I heard it with my shovel. Could be a straight side coke. Here. Could be a hutch. Many shots you want. That's, that's a, looks good so far. Yeah, looking good. Um, here, I'm not gonna smack it. Okay. You want that sharpshooter? Yeah, I would love a sharpshooter right about now. I told you, man, when you're raking it out from around it, this thing's come in real handy. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop all this back. Be nice and gentle on it. You can tell you don't dig with us. We're not gentle. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a crown? Oh, yeah, broke crown. Nah, it's busted. What do we got here? Oh, it's circle select. Oh, Ensley. Jefferson County, Jefferson Ensley. County Dang. Check out this cool med Tristan found. It says Interstate Chemical Company, Baltimore, Maryland. Pure products. Huh. It's cool. I don't think we ever take one of those. No. It's perfect though. No lip chip or anything. It looks earlier to me. It looks cool. Whatever it is. All right, guys. I've laid down in here and hit a little pocket right here. If you can look right up in here, there's a bottle. I can't quite tell what it is right here. It looks like it could be some kind of ketchup. <laughs> but I figured we'd turn the camera on and be sure. Because we have dug some weird wines and all kinds of stuff. That's a different shape ketchup, isn't it? Ketchup? Yeah, but it's a different shape. I don't know. Yes. What's that say? H.J. Hines. Definitely it, a ketchup, but cool, it's an earlier one, awesome. I think. Yeah. All right, we'll keep it going. Thank you, All right, Dad's got him a bottle right down there at the water line where everything's been hiding. Is it a Pepsi? Is it a straight side Coke? Is it an elephant? Well, I don't know if you put it in the water. Now right. you lost it. You ain't going to get back. Let's see if I can guess what it is. You're going all braille on us? Huh. Can't tell. <laughs> it was a crown top, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> nope, you got a Viva. Yep, Dad dug him a Viva bottling. There we go. Bet you never dug one of those, have you? Nope. James said he hadn't even dug that many. No, you dug a Gliola. That one's in good shape, too. Heck yeah, we'll take it. James just pulled this out here Potter Drug and Chemical Corporation, Boston, Massachusetts. And on this side over here, it says Cuticura System Blood and Skin Purification. <laughs> that's yeah. different right there, yeah, isn't that it? Is different, yeah. Hey, that's cool. That's a cool bottle. That's, that's Looks like it's got an earlier top, too. 1900. Brandon just scooped it out. It says, if you don't like barbers, and that is ACL, it came out of the very top layer. I know what's gonna happen. It's probably gonna disintegrate, but I wanted to show you guys. I mean, it's just a little bitty sample size milk. We'll try to preserve it. We'll take it home, but I do not have my hopes up that that label's gonna survive. Right here, I don't know if y'all can see it. There's a bottle. I can see that it's embossed. It's gonna be a soda, but I don't know what kind yet. It's gonna be... Bottom for Coca-Cola? Yep, and it's gonna be from 
Birmingham. So it's short it. crown top. Yeah, it's the prettier, the prettier crown top. It is the 1332, which there was a bunch of these made. It's still a 35 to 45 dollar straight side coke though. Clayton thinks he's got a hutch down there. It's not a hutch. Nope. Weird. Oh, it's one of those. Top looking chemical. Nothing on. Dad gum. It looked like it with that blob top though, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Wow. I like it too. Dang. Bottles over here. Bottles? There's more. There's bottles over yeah. there. I'm just or did you just steal the only bottle possible? Or did you stick pull out of your pocket and you just never cleaned it off? Is there more glass or is it just an anomaly there? No, hey, Tristan, can you hand that to me? Shovel, yeah. shovel uh, I can't believe that came out right there. Yeah. Old glass, or good glass or bad glass? What is it? Mug Base Alabama Bottling Company. Yeah, hold on to it. It's my first touch. I like oh, oh. It's solid, man. No chips, no cracks, no nothing. Beautiful bottle. Beautiful bottle. Let me get the little bit of water. Still got the stopper in there, doesn't it? Yep. Uh, yes, it does. Now let's get you one, man. That's yeah. what you're here for. Thank you. Get you, know you a hutch. The great thing is about these. You know what I've noticed is they're lead. It's always lead stoppers. So they, they were drinking to, that. They were, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine somebody drinking this? Like, <laughs> could you imagine me sitting here and going like, oh, oh, oh man, I got this lead. You're not going to, you're not going to live past 50 anyways you back know then. What? Yeah, it doesn't matter, <laughs> man. Whatever. Lead's good for you. That's awesome right there. Dude, awesome. Good bottle, Randy. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, what are you waiting for? We do these kind of adventures all the time. Let's get right back to the video. I felt this one down in the water. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was a giant hutch at first. I was like, what is that? It's a melon's food, and we've dug these before. This one says large size, but I've never dug one that has that top on it. That's pretty different. And we dug up right behind it. We got a Whitmore's that's already dried off. Pretty common little bottle. We did get a Harper's Headache Cure. And this little flask right here that's already dried, but it's got a weird panel, as you can see from where the paper label would have sat. Very fancy decorative flask. I would have liked to see what the paper label would have said. At this point, they're just bobbing up to the surface. <laughs> they're floating. I mean, I'm up to my knee in water over here. Check it out. Alabama Bottling Company. Nope, that's the works. We got the Alabama Bottling Works. Second one of these we've ever dug. You've seen that eagle a lot right there. But the thing that makes this one a lot harder to find is right there where it says works instead of company. Just a little bit earlier. Wow, guys, on the hutches. Anderson Fowler Drug Company Incorporated, Hopkinsville, Kentucky. This one's a good bit different. We did dig another Kentucky medicine a week or so back that was a Maysville, Kentucky. Kind of weird that there's so many Kentucky whiskeys and medicines in here. Check it out. He's got something sticking out down there. Right here. Let's see if he can get it out in one piece. And if I can keep my camera on him instead of looking around. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to see what is the thing I'm getting. I get to watching the guys extracting the bottles and not watching the camera because I'm so invested and in let the camera drift. Looking for the, the poker tool. Yep. Oh, my spear. Oh, man, it's really moist in here. <laughs> you guys got all that rain. Let's see what we got. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. There you go. There. Oh, oh it's a my coca. My coca from Fairfield. That's a great bottle. There I, you go. I've never dug uh, one. Is it flashed on the back? Yep. But hey, man, I'll still take it. It's I've so never dug one of those. Really? You never have? Yeah, we got them out at Tristan's house. Here you go. Hold it up a little bit. Let's see, guys. Take a look at the yeah. plate on it. Take a look at that. Wow. I'll still take that. Yeah, that's Thank you. Yeah. That's wicked. That's a good local bo uh, bottle. That's the only, so only soda from Fairfield. Seriously. Yeah, and they do have a medicine that I found, but it was a screw top. She thinks she feels a soda. What does it feel like now? Actually, it feels like a flask. A flask? I mean, literally, when I say we're filling around, guys, it's like, oh, that's cool. GPR. Hadn't dug one of those. Dad said they used to dig those in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. That is a whiskey flask. It's got a little chip lip up there. Oh, it does? Yeah, but that's neat because we've never dug one before. You hear another one back there? I thought I felt something round. That's not what I felt at first. Huh. Well, keep on feeling. Tristan just pulled out a hair balsam. Cool. You can see where it says Parker's. Nice amber bottle from New York. These aren't ones that we dig very often right here. I know 20 years ago or 30, this was probably an easy bottle to find, but nowadays it's not one you come up with. Well, the handle's broken. Daggum it. 
Randy the jug master can't pull it off every time, but this would have been his third jug within a week in here, so I don't think he can complain too much about that. <laughs> too bad it's not stenciled, right? Check this out, guys. I'm digging straight down. I just hit this bad boy right here. Henry K. Wample & Co., Philadelphia. So I'm about uh, three foot down. The water is messing with us today again story of our lives but i've got something that's embossed right here i can't tell what it's gonna be yet but i wanted you to guys to watch how we've been getting these things out of here take the shovel and just slowly slowly press in next to it twist and release the dirt and now then let's see what it is it's a crown top straight side coca-cola so let's take a look at it for you guys. Look how beautiful the embossing is down there. This is a Birmingham. No lip issues, no heel issues. All right, check it out guys. Right here, I just got that out of that back corner. Uh, it looks like it'll be a citrate of magnesia. Yep, top sheared off on it. If you're gonna have a sheared top, this is what you want it on. These are very, very common. There's, I don't know how many different styles of these things. They have a top that'll make you think it's really old. I can make a nice whiskey glass out of it anyways. Brandon just pulled this out. It's a Bromo Lithia from Philadelphia. Yep, we never dug one of those. Cute little amber. Never dug one before. All right, guys, check it out right here. We just had a collapse. It exposed a bottle right here. Oh, it's slap full of water. Another fellow syrup. That's the hypophosites. I believe this was like a type of a... Uh, Basically, it was similar to a bromo seltzer at the time. I think it was like a stomach medicine. Those medicines back then were in reference to stomach, and I have to think it was because they didn't have refrigerators and everybody was sick <laughs> from bad meat and stuff like that. Yep. Or maybe they were just drinking too much whiskey because we do dig a lot of whiskey flasks. Toss it. All right. No, it just pulled out. Sorry, man. See that. An Oklahoma milk. Something. It's Auburn, Oklahoma. Ardmore. Ardmore. Ardmore, Oklahoma? Yeah. Oh, here's the other piece of it. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that, that's a... Now he's got some pieces to it. Right Might be able to piece here. it together. That's where uh, your girlfriend's from, isn't it, Tristan? Yeah. Is Oklahoma. That's pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> All right, Brandon just got this little eagle extract, 10 cents. She just pulled one out right here, guys. It looks like it's going to be a mother's friend. It is. It is? Mm hmm I love these bottles because they're from Atlanta, Georgia. They're so pretty, too. Yeah, they're a very nice. Can we get you a rag? Atlanta, Georgia right there wipe it off for y'all can see it a little bit better hey look we brought rags guys atlanta georgia right there mother's friend they're pretty bottles pretty common i love the color see the neck a little bit those long necks it's amazing to me they survive at all it's perfect there's no chip heck yeah we'll take it it's always fun digging with people that dig differently and then i'm watching how they dig he's got this neat poker thing and for me I would harpoon a well with that. I don't think I would dig a bottle, but it works for him. Or Randy's new tool here. Yeah, it's right. for whaling also. Yeah, it's for whaling. <laughs> no, it's for hunting mammoth. His his is like a mammoth hunter. <laughs> cave cave <laughs> man bottle digging. <laughs> Looks good so far. It's really thin, it's like kind of skinny. It's a soda though. You can tell by that embossing at the bottom. Yeah. Maybe it's a uh, one of them like round. I'm hoping this Alabama Bottling Company hutch yeah. just so you can get your first hutch out here. I would. I want you to leave Alabama with a hutch. I would love to. This is, is that root giving you problems? Yeah, it is, but I don't think it's You're going to have to go around it. Yeah. <laughs> Too big to not. There it yeah, goes. Check it out. This hole. Yeah, it, is, it is a rifle. Right, yeah, and that's the nice shoulder script rifle from Birmingham. You don't have one of those, do you? I do not have one of them at all. Yeah. And that is real pretty, too. Ooh. Yeah, it's got the big RO on the bottom. It'll yeah. say Birmingham on the hill. There's Sweet. four or five different variations of that bottle. There is a circle slug, which is the newest. The hill script is the oldest. I would put that one right around That's probably great. 1914. Uh, All right. Clayton says he's got a couple sticking out down here. Oh, there's another one. Yep. Big one there. That one there. That looks like it might be moving a little. And there's something back here I just murdered. <laughs> They're, when they come in here, they come all together. Is that one of those jerseys? Gregory. The Gregory Co? Yeah. Clear one. That's only the second one of those we've pulled out of here. There's the first one. 
First hole. Yeah. That's pretty big right there. Might be a cool whiskey though, you know? I'd love it to say something about the hammer, bless me. It'll probably be slick. Nothing? No, nothing burger. Now what was that behind it? That sounded big, almost like a jug to me, the way that it... <laughs> it's so hard to get to this stuff, guys. Oh my goodness, it's hard. And you hear that crunching, guys? That is glass, but it's not the bottle. You see all of your thing that he just raked out? This is literally window pane pieces. We had somebody last week, like, we hear bottles crunched every time you're digging with those steel shovels. And yeah, that's not all bottles. Is that what you heard? I think. Yeah. I don't hear nothing back there now. We're also using these steel shovels to be able to hear the stuff. Without that, that steel touching the glass, we wouldn't even know that it was there. This is Braille Bottle Digging 101. Dad just dug this out right here. It says Taylor's Cherokee Remedy. I think it says Cherokee. Hard to say. It says sweet gum and mullen. That's an interesting little bottle. I don't think we've ever dug one of those. Pretty cool. Guys, this is absolutely insane. I've got another bucket lister and I'm not believing it. I've been wanting to dig a whole one. And look what I got. I got a Jack Daniels. I got a flipping Jack Daniels. Oh my lord. You've got to be kidding me. That's the old number seven from Lynchburg, Tennessee. Every bit of an $800 to $1,000 bottle if there's no damage. I cannot believe this, guys. Holy crap. Check it out. I washed it off. Look at all the beautiful air bubbles. It does have one little mark right there. That's the only imperfection on the whole bottle. I mean, the lips in phenomenal condition. The sides all look good. But wow, guys, I thought I was gonna have to go to Tennessee to dig at old time distillery Jack Daniels. And I was able to do it right here in Alabama. After finding that Jay Fox a few weeks ago, this right here just completes my bucket list. Now if I can find a Birmingham Jack Daniels, they ought to be here. All right, water. dad's got one. Water, oh, I do see it right there. Pull her out. Get you a good one. You kill me with the mud. <laughs> Straight side coat, Birmingham. Yeah, what is it? Yep, on the bottom. Yeah, Birmingham. Right there. Straight side coat. That's all right. Doesn't look like it's got any damage. After finding the Jack Daniels, it gets really interesting. I hear something on Randy's side, and Clayton feels something flat and square. That one got a hold of it. That one? <laughs> oh, yeah, figure that out right quick. We're trying to take these waterproof gloves just to keep our hands from being super soggy. Sounds like y'all are both tapping them on both sides. Oh, yeah. Thought I saw a bubble. Uh -huh. Jar. Jar. Oh, oh, that's a nice old one, though. It's got the ground lip, doesn't it? Oh, no, it's a little later than that. That's a ball mason. That's the one. I mean, that's still probably Fairly 1890s. Early. Yeah. Heck, yeah. Did you get yours out, Randy? No. It's a number This zero. water's kicking our butt. Oh, oh, it's a ketchup. It's a ketchup. <laughs> the video's not over yet. Do not click off. There's some amazing finds coming up. Got that out of the way. Now I'm going to tell you what I'm about to do. I'm about to preface a find that's coming up after this clip that's a really cool find. However, with me being the camera guy in 99% of the videos, I'm videoing other people find really cool stuff. And then whenever I dig, there's nobody holding the camera for me. And so all of my stuff is not sitting in the bank or in the water. It's already out. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to get a tripod or I'm going to start calling people over because I'm tired of missing this cool stuff that I find without myself being on film. So check this out. So two foot from my Jack Daniels was this elephant. Look how pretty that top is just sticking right out of it. I have got dad and Randy out here and I'm trying to get them on one, but for some reason, the elephants seem to be coming to me lately. <laughs> I've dug a bunch of them, but I'm moving a lot of dirt too though, just to be fair. Great bottle, we'll rinse it off and see what it looks like. Doesn't look like it's got any damage to me though. And the elephant looks like it's gonna be really, really nice. Look how heavily the embossing is on that. 
That is insane, guys. Right in the middle of the backfill was a nice little hoist. Is it the nickel or the 10 cent one? It, it's actually, yeah, it's a nickel. The nickel one. A uh, nickel. These are always fun to find. Never complain. Yeah. I hope y'all can make this button out that Tristan just pulled out of here. That is a steam train. And that is really, really cool, guys. I don't know if the shank's gonna be intact or not. It's gonna have to be cleaned up. He said he hitting a button guy. He's gonna give it to me. I'll take it home and clean y'all, clean it up for you guys because I am absolutely a button guy when it comes to railroad stuff. What you got there, Dad? I think it's a North. Northside Pharmacy, Birmingham, Alabama. No damage. No, I don't have that one. That's a different one. Yeah. That's early. That's a nice druggist right there. Yeah. Heck yeah. Nothing like finding something you've never found before. Yeah. And you've never seen it on the channel because we've never dug one. So Tristan rinsed off a couple of these bottles. That interstate chemical turned out really nice over there. He did dig a Wyzola that we didn't get on camera. And he did dig a nice mid-scrip Huntsville over here with no damage. All are nice condition bottles. This one right here does have a lip chip, but it's another one of those seltzer phosphates. Seltzer phosphates, Birmingham, Alabama. And the seltzer is spelt different. If you look, it's with an S at the top and a Z at the bottom. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did and you're new here, please be sure that you're subscribed. According to my analytics, around 60% of you are not subscribed. So you're missing out on all kinds of adventures. Reach right down there, hit that button. It's absolutely free and it'll do us a huge favor by supporting us. We will catch you guys in the next video.